So let's get rolling. Let's go to new style. And immediately you have a couple different, I guess you could say, uh, choices here. So you can uh, name your style immediately off the bat. And I'm going to name mine Bemidji. And you'll see why in a second. And you can pick a template. So templates are basically pre-designed styles that you can tweak from the get-go. So navigation, guidance, day, all these different ones that they've created. Satellite ones with streets. You know, basic, uh, light gray, this would be uh, really ideal for, in a lot of circumstances, outdoors. But for this case, and, and probably in your case as well, it's best to start with an empty style. Because if you start with an empty style, what you can do is you can add data to your style or data sets and layers. And you can actually add the map box layers that exist here one by one as needed. So maybe you don't need all the swamps or you don't need every single road on your map depending on the use. And this is a great way to actually not have to go in and change every single data layer styling, but to add only the layers you need and then style those as you add them. So that's what I'm going to do right now. You can also upload previous styles or other people's styles that you have access to. Oh, lost my name. So what I'm going to do is different from your assignment because I don't just want you guys to copy exactly what I do. I'm going to create a map of Bemidji, Minnesota, which is an obscure town of 14,000 in northern Minnesota that I visited a couple of weeks before recording this demo for a GIS conference. All right, so this is, this is Mapbox Studio. It doesn't look like much right now, as they say about the Millennium Falcon as well, but there's a lot of power here. Let me just give you a quick rundown in case you didn't read the manual yet. You can go over here to search for places, uh, figure out map positions, debug certain issues, look at the history of changes that have been made, um, change the light direction on your map, not advisable in most cases, uh, basically reset the pitch and angle, north, all this stuff, basically all this really kind of highfalutin technical stuff. This is also where you'll go to publish your style when it's ready to publish. The left is where the action is. The left is where you will can tweak your data layers, tweak your backgrounds, um, add data layers, delete things, etc. Let's get started right now. Let's add our first layer. So I'm going to click here and go to, um, add a layer. And right now what we can do is we can add a background layer, create one. And basically this is just a color that should be the background color of our map. I'm a firm believer in light colors or extremely dark colors for backgrounds, but black is a little dominant, so we're going to go super light gray right now. You can also add a pattern. Um, you can add SVG images, and uh, basically it looks like we, I don't feel like adding a, a pattern right now, but you can add like a little texture pattern, you know, grids for the waves, etc. And you can set an opacity. All right, we have a background. Um, Yep. All right. This one versus this one. All right. I don't know why we have two suddenly. I probably screwed something up. You guys probably noticed it and are thinking this guy's a nut. Um, so let's go to add our first data layer. Now, you can click here. And if you've uploaded tile sets, or data sets, they'll show up here. So you may remember in Mapbox Studio that it also has tile sets or data sets. These are some old tile sets I created a long time ago. But most importantly is Mapbox Streets, which is based off of OpenStreetMap. They have a bunch of pre-designed data that you can just bring in. So let's bring in something that's pretty robust. Let's bring in water. That seems like it should work. So we'll click water and as you see, once you add this layer, you have some options here. First of all, we can um, decide if it's a fill, if it's a fill extrusion, if it's a line, in which case that'd be coastlines, right? A circle, that's weird, but basically point symbols, or symbols. So let's do this as a fill, because I think oceans and Great Lakes and stuff should be fills. And let's hit Create Layer. Now, once we've created the layer, we can tweak some things. I'm going to rename this 
uh, I guess water with a capital W because what the heck but you can rename the layers so they make sense to you we're gonna change the color to something that makes a little more sense given its water and since we are that's a little bright but there we go you could also type in some values here RGB or HSV you can set the opacity, so if you had another background layer under it with like maybe dragons floating around or something, you could make those kind of pop through. And uh, you can change the stroke or the boundary stroke. So there we go. All right, so water is done. Let's add another layer. Actually, let's do that in the next video.